Duke Energy leaders are apologizing for the rolling blackouts that cut power to half a million customers during the brutally cold Christmas weekend. Good afternoon, I'm Liz Ortiz. And I'm Bill Young. State regulators are questioning them today about why it happened. Our Capitol reporter, Michael Hyland, joining us live right now in Raleigh. And Michael, what exactly went wrong? Yeah, they're actually still here taking questions about this right now, but they said there were a series of issues here, including that they did not accurately project just how much demand there was going to be on Christmas weekend. And so just as families were getting together on some of the coldest days that we've seen in a long time, many of them lost power. And so Duke is here talking to the Utilities Commission today, kind of outlining exactly what happened. They thought even up until the night before Christmas Eve that they were going to be ready. But it turned out the power that was available was about 10% below what demand turned out to be. The company also had equipment malfunctions that reduced their ability to generate power. In addition, they couldn't take advantage of agreements to purchase power from out of state because some of those providers were having the same problems. The company also acknowledged communication failures to customers about what was going on and how long it would last. Duke's managers pointed out it was the first time in the company's history that they implemented rolling blackouts. We own what happened. We have set out on a path to ensure that if we're faced with similar challenges, we will see a different outcome and provide a better customer experience. Another official from Duke said while they are going to try to minimize the risk of this happening again, that they believe they made the right decision to implement the rolling blackouts given the circumstances. He also said if that same series of events occurs, they would make that same decision again. Live in Raleigh, Michael Hyland, CBS 17 News. A lot of people have been waiting for an answer. Michael, thank you.